Hey everyone, it's Melissa here to plan my happy memory keeping planner. So I've got a lot of photos going on this week. I think I'm actually going to first make sure to lay them down. Now that I know kind of where things are going, I think I can just do this insert in a sec. So I'm going to use this just because it was a big week. Um, we went to a concert, so I have some concert photos and then I just have kind of what happened during the week as well. I was actually thinking of cutting this to the width of this and then putting two of them against in a line down here and then the same thing over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to measure the width of this box. I don't really need it to be exact, but just kind of around. So two inches by... I'm going to need a taller ruler. So it's roughly six and a quarter. I'm just going to trim this down. I really love these florals. I think they were in the Red Seasonal sticker book. I wish that I could just buy single sheets of this floral. I love it so much. I know that I say this about every floral, but <laughs> I really one of the florals that I really, really liked. So I'm just going to cut this down. It's going to need to be at two inches. I might just do six inches because I know that this is a 12 by 12 paper. I'm just going to trim that down. Oh, I guess I lost some of the florals. I didn't know that would happen. So that has a little bit of a rip, but I think I can hide that. And then this I'm going to use on this side of the spread. I'm still going to need to cut this six inches a piece. And I can just start gluing that on. So I want I wanted to kind of put it like that. Oh, okay, that's gonna look really nice. A little offset. That'll be really good when layering on the photos. And then I'll put this like that so you can still kind of see the leaf. Yeah. And then, oh, I actually have two more of these. I'm going to stick this through the punch and then have one kind of coming up behind this photo and then the other one over there as well. So let me just get started. I just want to make sure I don't cover up any of the florals so then this I know is the horizontal photo so I can put that with the floral going up. These are Mandy kits that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I might actually layer it going this way. I know that the um, horizontal photo is up here, so I'm going to have the florals going down. Okay, so it's going to slightly be covered, but I think that'll look really cute actually. I'll just start by gluing these ones on. I have gone ahead and printed my photos using the Canon Selfie. I'll just link kind of the process that I do before I get to the, or sorry. I'll just share the video that I have as to the process as to getting to this part of my memory planning. So you can kind of see that I've written really faintly um, where I want each photo to go, or sorry, what I would like in each box. And then there's a little check mark once I've developed it, it's just a way for me to keep track. I think I'll lay them out like this. I think I'll pull a lot from this Mambi kit just because it has some of these florals left. I might layer this a little bit too and then actually I want it to be at the edge so maybe I won't. 
use some of this wood grain pattern in that insert just to kind of tie it together with the week. Now I'm trying to think about what, how I want this. So I know it's going to go like this and then it's going to go like that. I want to take it and stick it there. Yeah, that, I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to freehand cut it. That's straight enough. I'll put that like that. And the other one I will do the same. Okay. I don't really have a favorite picture, so I know I'm going to have to cover that up. that upside down just I don't know if I like that so I'm just gonna try to gently lift this up and then flip it around so it's gonna need a touch more adhesive that have um, kind of photorealistic images. That's what I'll go for. The first thing I want to do is cover this up. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, that'll do it. Start there, and then I'll put this currently here so I can just cover up that noted too. And I might just use some colorful boxes to caption all of these, but I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do that at the same time. So I think I might just caption this photo up here, I'll caption this here, and then I'll caption this one down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that. Oh, and I really want to do this too. So I'm just going to use some plain black font for this. I can just go ahead and start to journal. I've done that. Let me just figure out how I'm going to caption this. So I think I'll just keep going. I'll, I'll caption this here, I'll caption this there, and then this here, this there, and then I'll just do, since I put no colorful boxes, I'm just going to write directly on here and there. I'm all done kind of journaling the photos I can just go ahead and keep adding some stickers so I know that I have those two kind of photorealistic stickers I think I'm gonna put the memories one down there and I don't know if I'm gonna use the coffee one use this one today is beautiful so I hope that Mabby comes out with more big sticker book so that they can kind of fit inside these boxes and 
there's already a lot of things going on here, so I don't think I need to add any box stickers. I'm going to add this. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll add some little confetti. I'll add this here. And I'll layer this Love Your Smile that I've gone ahead and promptly just cut in half. But I know I can put it back together. I might just leave that blank, which there's really no kind of coordinating blank spot here, which I don't like so much, but I think I can make do. So I'm just gonna add some more little kind of embellishments. Cute. Right, I have that other sheet to think about, so I don't want to use up all of these. I should have actually used that floral over there, but... You know what, that's fine. So let me just go ahead and stick these stickers on. The lead singer was just so present during the concert. She was amazing. It's a really fun night. some of these florals so I'm going to start right now with this. I wish they actually made a washi of this. Maybe they do. I should just actually use the washi that I have that I am definitely hoarding. I'm just going to cut this one slanted. So I'm just gonna kind of layer some some of these stickers on. And I'm gonna put happiness. Okay. And this other kind of soft pastel sticker. I'll try to do my best to letter something pretty. So I'm just gonna do this side. And I'm gonna put one of those square stickers here. Just want to tie in some of that wood. Here. 
No, I don't, I don't know. This is kind of bothering me how that's um, under and then you can see it, but I'm just trying not to think about it too much. I'm liking this, so now I'm happy here. I just realized there's two dates side by side, so I think, you know what, or I can cover this one up. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Love it. Awesome. And then I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just wondering... So I think I'm going to leave this blank and then I kind of want to stick something along the side here. So I think I'll do that, maybe this arrow. And then I'll stick one of the skinnier clear arrows to this guy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, I truly do appreciate it. If you like this video, I hope you'll click like. To not miss any of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much.